the book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 6 to 7. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him as he said to you. This is a witness by the angel, angels, by the angel of the Lord, the angel, the angels of the angel who was sent when Jesus Christ rose from the dead. The disciples of Jesus went to the grave, expecting that he was still there. But when they reached there, they found the body of Jesus was missing. But they found the angel of God in white robe sitting on the right side of where Jesus was laid. And the angel confirmed to the disciples of Jesus that he had risen and he was not in the grave. Jesus, death could not hold Jesus in the grave. As he had told his disciples before he died that he was going to lay his body down and after three days he was going to take it back. So this confirmed his word. God, by his power of his Holy Spirit, resurrected him from the dead, and death could not hold him at all. So Jesus rose again from death, and he defeated death. That is a, an encouragement to us that even we, when we die physically there, that is not the end of it, because Jesus has been given power, God has got power to resurrect our dead bodies. We cannot just stay dead after dying, but when we die, Jesus' power, the Holy Ghost, has got power to resurrect us, so we won't die eternally, but we are going to live eternally, and we are going to embrace eternal life. Eternal life we can receive by knowing Jesus as Lord and as Savior when we are walking here on earth, when we acknowledge him that is the Lord of our heart then he comes and lives with us. Jesus comes and lives with us by his Holy Spirit, by his blood, the blood that was said at Calvary. That blood has got power to take away sin from us, to take away sin from nature from us. When we ask him to forgive us our sins and our iniquities, he comes to live in our heart. He fills us with his Holy Spirit and he makes us to live a new life, a life whereby he gives us power to become his sons and his daughters. That life, when we live here on earth, we live only and crucify life for Jesus. Everything we do, we do for Jesus. And when the time comes when we leave this earth, we are going to a better place. We go to a better place, heaven, where there are no sorrows, there are no pains. 
So Jesus resurrected, and that is an encouragement to us that when we die, we are going to resurrect. We are not going to stay in the grave. He has got resurrection power. God, by his Holy Spirit, has got resurrection power. So we won't be dead after dying here, but the resurrection power is going to come upon us. The power of God, the sovereign power of God to resurrect our bodies for eternal life. For the ones who believe in Jesus Christ as Lord and as Savior, and for the ones who have accepted him, we are going to live for eternal life. So, it is upon us to decide to live for Jesus or to live for the enemy who is the devil. The devil will always come to make us disobey the word of God. He will always come to make us not live for Jesus. He will always come to make us not live for God. But we thank God that he sent his son Jesus Christ to come uh, and saw us how to live here on this earth the way God had planned to live and holy, to live holy and crucify life for God. So Jesus resurrected and also is going to resurrect us. We have got great hope in the future of eternal life. So when we are here on this earth, we just have to obey the word of God, do the will of God, and at the right time when we die or when Jesus comes back the second time in the rapture, he's going to find us ready to take us home. May God bless us. Father, we thank you and we give you glory for your word. Let your word have a place in our heart, O oh Lord. Take away sin and iniquity from us. Anything that may hinder us from receiving you as Lord and as Savior, remove from us, O oh Lord, by your blood. Save us by your blood. Make us be born again, O oh Lord. Give us power to become your sons and daughters. And help us live holy and crucify life for you.